Hi, my name is Beth Ciminello. My channel is Mrs. T Chem Talk, and this is for my teacher tech series. I'm just trying to share some of the things that I learned from distance learning. And if you could please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, this is going to be about copying and reusing classes in Google Classroom. And for many of us who maybe teach and use similar materials every year, setting up your Google Classroom the first time can be very time consuming. But then once you've set it up, it's very important that you don't have to duplicate that work again. You may wanna tweak things from year to year, but you don't have to completely reinvent everything if you use this process to copy your classes. So we're just going to switch over to one of my previous classes in Google Classroom. And you can see this is from what it looked like at the end of the school year last year. I have some things pinned to the top here. Um, you can see various due dates, but those are just things that are pinned to the top. You can see my topics down at the bottom on the, on the left hand side here. And the most recent topic is at the top. And what I do throughout the year is that whatever was done first, you can see this is sort of in order. But what I do is when it's a new topic time for a new topic, I drag the topic that I'm using by tapping on the topic name and I drag it to the top so that everything winds up in almost reverse order by the end of the year. And as I was reordering these in order to copy it into a new class, I, I had a, a little bit of a brainchild, an idea, and I'm you know I'm sure other people have realized this, but if I go in and I go to my classes, and I tap on one of my classes. So these are the new ones that I made. But if I tap on one of the old classes, which this is, I can touch tap on these three dots here and I can copy it. And if I copy it, I can change the name. I usually just take out class period. And then if I hit copy, I wind up with a new copy. And what I did, I went into the new copy and I went to classwork and I started reordering and reworking everything so that the beginning of the year is at the top and all of the chapters go in chronological order. And then before the students join, I can go in and make all the material live. And if I make the material live, like the solutions guide has to be, um, it's just posted, it can just be there. If I edit that, I can click two classes to make it live for, which I made my two AP Chem classes for the following school year the same color so I can find them easily. I can post it to those two classes. I can make this document part of it. I can click post, and now it will post into both classes. So I copied the old class once. And then I made an empty class for the second class. And all of these different things that got posted were put in here after the fact, okay? They were put in here just with the material. And what I plan to do is once I have this particular class that was copied from the other class from the previous year, once I have this all in the order that I want it in, what I'm going to do is actually make a copy and just have this be my template class for the following year. So that throughout the year, I can drag whatever I need at the top when I'm done with uh, when I'm up to when I'm done with the summer assignment, I can drag chapter one to the top. When I'm done with chapter one, two, and three, I can grab cha I grab chapter four and drag it to the top. And then at the end of the year, I don't have to do all of this moving up and down before I can copy it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to classes. This particular class is all in the order that I want it in for the beginning of the year, which is different than the order that it winds up in by the end of the year. But this is the class where everything is ordered the way I want it for the beginning of the year. And I'm going to go to those three dots and I'm going to click copy. And now 
what I'm going to name it is template for AP Chem. And I don't have to put anything else in here. Once I copy it, if nobody joins the class, I don't have to archive it. And I every year, I can just go to this class and copy it and have a blank slate. And what I'm going to do is any changes that I make throughout the year, I will go in any new items, any new assignments that weren't in my class to begin with. If I add something completely new and I make a new assignment or I post new material, all I have to do is find my AP Chem template here, which for some reason isn't showing up. I don't know why it's not showing up. I guess it didn't finish copying yet. But if I add it to my, co my current class and to my AP Chem template, that will put it into that template as well for the following year when I copy. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to classes here and just see why my AP Chem, AP Chem template isn't showing up. Uh, oh, temp, it's called template for AP Chem. So now let me just try that again. So if I go in here and I go to classwork and I go to create something completely new, let's say I create new material, all I'm going to do is add it to that class and any other current AP Chem classes and also add it to the template. If I also add it to the template, the following year when I copy the template class, everything will be in there. So you just have to make sure you do this one piece uh, this one step is that you always, when you make new material or you make a new post, just click on the template also. And then the following year, when you go to your classes and you archive your current classes, you will just go to this template class and hit copy for the following year. Now, this template class, sorry, I didn't mean to click on that. This template class, I can take this and I can grab it and I can just put it at the bottom of my class list. And by putting it at the bottom of my class list, I can just kind of ignore it. I don't have to look at it. And then this was a class that I just opened just to get there. I'm just gonna archive that one. That's just an old class. But now the way I have it set up is that I have my two AP Chem sections, my two Chem A sections, and then this, these two combined ones here are just in case we go to full distance learning, I'll combine the two. Um, but this template class will just stay down here and I will do the same thing for Chem A. Once I get all of this, you'll see this is what it looked like at the end of the previous year. There's chapter seven, chapter six, there's my zero, there's my nine, everything's sort of out of order. I'll drag all of these things to be in the correct order. I'll go to classes. And once this is in the correct order, I will copy it and I will make a new template class for Chem A. And then any time I need to do another section of Chem A, I can just hit copy from the template to make my new one for the following year. So hopefully this was something that was helpful to copy and reuse classes in Google Classroom. I have found that the work I put in the first time I used Google Classroom has paid so many dividends on this because then every year I can just fix it a little bit and add to it and reuse it for the following year. And if you have that template class, and if you constantly are also adding new material and new assignments that you do differently each year into the template class, that template class can keep growing to represent what you want each year for Google Classroom. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this helped you. Again, this is Mrs. T Chem Talk is my channel. It's mostly chemistry, Regents New York, New York Regents chemistry and AP chemistry videos. Um, and now I have this teacher tech section, which I hope is helpful to everyone. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications if you want to be notified when new videos are, are up. Thank you so much and good luck.